got preachers and pastors who are weightlifters. Let's start with the fact that they carry the problems of their congregation with them on a regular basis. Doctors and healthcare professionals, they, they tend to the life and the body of people, but preachers carry the weight of the soul. The weight of trying to keep an institution alive in a day when people just don't go to church and believe in God. And then the weight of carrying the word of God. One of my remaining living mentors, Dr. T. Garrett Benjamin, he was pastor of Second Christian Church in Indianapolis, which has changed to light of the world. He invited me to preach for him one, one year. Actually, I preached for him many years, but this one year, I was preaching revival for him a long, long time ago. And um, he picked me up from the hotel in his brand new Mercedes, which he always had a been. Picked me up from the hotel, I get in the car, and drive to the church. When we get to the church, I'm on the passenger side, obviously he's on the driver's side. I get out the car, and then I go to the back door, open the door, and I reach for my briefcase. And he stops me. He points to a man, one of his armor bearers, and he says to, to me, let him carry that. Because you are carrying the word, and that's heavy enough. He said, I brought you here from Ohio, and I don't want you to have to carry nothing but the word of God. Do you imagine how heavy the word of God is to know that when you come to church on a Sunday, there are hundreds of people sitting there wondering, is there a word from the Lord? It's heavy carrying that word. <laughs>